Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Per here again and today after a long time coming we finally have more information on the Division Heartland. They just dropped the trailer, we have some more information that they've released to the public online and I'm very excited because it's a game I've long been looking forward to. I said this to as many people that'll hear it, if we get a survival game like Tarkov on console that's really polished, really well done, it is going to take over and I am absolutely sure of that. Whether the Division Heartland is that game, I don't know, but let's watch the trailer, check it out for ourselves, and then I'm going to dive into my thoughts on not only the trailer, what they've revealed, but also what else we've learned with the game and why. Uh, as much as the Division 2 has kind of let me down personally, I'm excited about this game nonetheless. Hey everyone, we're so excited to show you Heartland, an all new standalone adventure in the Division universe. The teams poured their heart into this game, and we can't wait to share it with you. Okay. Welcome Looks like the Silver Division, Drink. obviously from the jump. I'm Keith Evans, Creative Director in Heartland at Red Storm Entertainment. We've been involved here at Red Storm with the Division going back before the first game launched. Our partnership with Massive Entertainment made some games that we love. We're so excited to bring something new to fans. A lot of variety franchise. in the location so far. Heartland's a free-to-play survival action shooter set in the Division universe that features streamlined survival gameplay and a beautiful new world to explore. You play as a Division agent, given the task of protecting Silver Creek, a small town in Middle America, from enemy factions, like rogue and agents, and right. a deadly contamination. This game ties directly into the timeline and introduces all new characters and storylines to the franchise. Heartland okay. feels fresh and distinct while still feeling at home alongside the other amazing games in this universe. We can't wait to have you join us in Silver Creek. Some extraction right there. Okay. Enemy factions, rogue agents. Let's, uh, let's check this out little by little. Uh, I wanted to check out the map. And then, uh, yeah, because this looks like it's going to really tell us a lot. Anyway, uh, so the trailer looks interesting. Not a whole lot to go on. We still have a lot more information to know before everyone, I think, is diving into this game. There were some rumors this game was going to be released over the weekend, but obviously that's not the case. Uh, oh, but I'm excited about it. Like I said, I think survival games are are peaking right now and the games that can really capitalize on that and expand upon that are important so how this is likely to work what it looks like to me is it's going to be pvevp so that means when you drop into most of these missions there's going to be npcs that you have to fight but also real players that you have to fight as well with the goal being to extract and to take out the loot that you get at the end of the mission now whether you have missions within every uh, time you drop in that's going to be interesting like Tarkov you have certain things to chase certain items to find certain uh, Objectives to complete maybe certain bosses or enemies to, to kill along the path. Um, I think all that's going to be very important Whether you're going to be able to join like like I know In Tarkov you have scavs and, and different types of groups as well whether you can join one of those or, or mission for them or take uh, challenges for them that'll be another way to kind of see if if it's all going to be every man for themselves or if it's going to uh, break down as far as groups go uh, proximity chat that'll be something we need to learn more of and the map looks very interesting because it looks like it's a pretty sizable map that's going to be split off as far into different locations and different extraction zones what will be interesting as well is if you see these yellow lines here, I wonder if they're going to have like certain raids or certain missions only take part in little quadrants or if you're going to be able to explore the whole map uh, in, in other modes as well. Unlike a BR, there isn't just one winner. Uh, normally with these types of games, whether you drop in, you find loot, yeah, you can kill other players, but... If you extract with the stuff that you want, you extract. Now, one of the things that something like Battlefield 2042's hard or Hazard Zone struggled with is reasons to keep diving back in. You can't just have cosmetics. You have to have additional loot or gear to dive into, uh, things to improve. So that way, when you drop in the first time, you feel like... Uh, how almost helpless like you have the bare minimum you're scratching by and then every time you go back in and you are able to extract 
you get a little bit stronger, a little bit better gear, more knowledge of the map. So that's really where the games like this uh, could potentially shine and what is absolutely necessary in order for this game to really take off. Uh, other than that, like I said, we didn't get a whole lot. Combat looks very much like the division, I, I want to expect a huge departure. Maybe enemies are a little bit easier to kill. It's not going to be as bullet spongy, which I think is important. Uh, it's not going to have the hyper realism of something like Tarkov, I don't believe, which again is not going to be for everybody. Uh, I don't know how the inventory management is going to work. It might be a little bit more simplified, which I think also is a good idea ultimately to get more casual players in the game. But you have to walk that fine line. You need to make it uh, challenging enough that there's room to learn and grow and become more proficient as well as uh, earning more gear. But you also need it so that way someone can drop in and have a good time with it and not uh, struggle mightily with all everything that you can possibly loot and scavenge and all the ammo being... Uh, slightly different and unusable on this gun but usable on this gun there's just a lot going on with something like tarkov that can make it a bit daunting so hunt showdown is a good example of a game that i think uh, a lot of others can learn from and if it had kind of gone to a bigger scale maybe with a uh more hyped launch maybe that could have been one that that a lot of people on console were still playing but overall like it looks like you have uh, a weapon here you have a melee you have grenades yeah so there's not like abilities i don't believe this is your health i would imagine up above the bar you have your you do have a map so that's something to keep in mind it's not like tarkov where you're just kind of uh going based off of memory you do have a mission over here as well but yeah i'd be curious to see how they make it more like the division if they're able to drop in um limited time like gear like you so say you have uh a specific ability or piece of gear you can take with you but once you go into a mission with it it's lost you know something like that could be very interesting so that way uh you have to re-earn that in order to really go forward and uh use it the next time you're in a mission so that's something that i think the division heartland could do really really well and would excite me personally because it would again it would make the game feel like the division and not just a another survival knockoff copy of other games we've seen you have to inject the personality of the franchise in the game if it's going to succeed maybe the enemies are a little bit tankier maybe the Abilities that you get, like I said, are you have to earn them. They're one-offs. And if you've been playing for a long time, you have like a bunch of them saved up. You can pick and choose when you have a specific activity you want to do. Something like that. I know this is a lot of speculation. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. If they're going to keep it bare minimum as far as uh, the gameplay goes. But I think, uh, personally, I think there's a lot of potential there for the game to really, really shine. And do things that feel like The Division but make it something that people are going to want to play over and over and over again. That's a it's a tough balance, I am, if I'm being honest. I think a lot of people are, are going to be excited about this game. They're going to give it a shot. It is free to play. You can register now for uh, upcoming tests. It doesn't sound like we're getting a beta soon, which hopefully we do get before it launches, or we just dive right in and it's free to play. I really think... Uh, this is going to be side brand a little bit, but I do think that get more games should drop surprise launches like we saw with Apex Legends. And uh, it would absolutely take the world by storm if you do that correctly, especially a game as big as The Division and a developer as big as Ubisoft. That could kind of blow up. So that's just a personal opinion. But anyway, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on The Division Heartland. What would you would like to see from the game going forward and whether you are excited about a game like this coming out. I'm very excited about it. I'm very curious to what it's going to look like in the future. My name is Jopa. Hit that like button if you haven't already. I'm definitely going to be covering the Division Heartland on the channel going forward. So stay subscribed if you're not already. And I hope you have a good one. And I'll catch you all later.